We've made it our mission when we travel to start staying at more unique hotels. This means inns, boutiques, bed and breakfasts, things of that nature. When you travel a lot and you start staying at chain hotels, you start staying at Starwood properties, they all start blending in. They all look the same after a while. So if you want to spice things up, take a gamble at staying at inns and boutiques. And this is our review of the River Street Inn in Savannah, Georgia. It was rated as a four star hotel on Google reviews. I believe not Google reviews, but the metadata for this hotel says four star hotel, not reviews from actual people that stayed within the hotel. The actual metadata classifies this as a four star hotel. We would give this actually a three star. This is a three star hotel, maybe masquerading as a four star hotel in that metadata, but we believe this is three star. There are pros and cons for this hotel. Here are some of the pros. The pros are that it is right on the Savannah River. So on the back of the hotel, you can see the river. But if you have a front facing room, you are on the street side. It's very central, so you can walk to all the downtown areas. Everything is within a mile, probably less. You can start seeing things in a tenth of a mile or two tenths of a mile. Not a lot of walking at all. It's very central, extremely central. The parking, there is a garage not too far from the River Street Inn that charges like $20 a day. So you're going to have to pay for parking if you're driving in. We drove in. It's a uh, downtown area, so you're not going to get away with not paying for parking. The architecture, the ambiance of the actual hotel looks extremely nice. From the outside looking in, once you go inside, it has a nice decor. A little bit of history behind the hotel in the 1800s or the early 19th century it was actually a place to store cotton it was part of the cotton exchange it was a central location i'm not sure if they were storing bales of cotton there or slaves were inside this warehouse i'm not 100 percent sure it could be both you never know but the historical records say that this was a vital place for the cotton exchange. And that makes sense because of its location to the Savannah River. So if you're trading resources, you want to be close to a river. That's a hub. There were probably slaves in this building. I'm not 100% sure. Once again, we do not know. But there are a couple of sites underneath on the street level that say that indicate that there may have been holding areas for slaves in order to hold them before they were shipping them to different locations. So very storied past, but the River Street Inn purchased this warehouse property in the late 20th century, it's the late 1900s, and they renovated it and created a hotel. It has a very unique ambiance and uh, when you first walk in, it looks very nice. It looks very nice. I like the wood. I like the brick. It's um, it's it has a nice and pleasant feeling. We were on the third floor, which is one floor underneath what you see the River Street in right now. So you have to take the elevator or the stairs. And uh, yeah, so we're street level. So we're going to go down right now and into the room. As you can see, the rooms look very nice on camera. They have beams, they have bricks. The decor for the room is nice. Very unique pieces of furniture, lamps, and every not everything. There's also a balcony. So it's a pretty large room. We were pretty surprised, very nice. But some of the issues was when we first started getting into the room. There was a fan directly above the bed. And the problem with the fan is the fan looked extremely nice. There were dust particles all over the bed because the fan was extremely dusty. So it was blowing all the dust onto the bed. So we had to turn the fan off, of course, but the lighting is nice. And uh, you see all the brick that the room itself wasn't that clean. You know, if you look at it at first, it's very clean. Like when you take a shower, 
you kind of have to put socks on after you take a shower because you're tracking dirt on the floor. It's very dusty. It was very dusty in the room. Uh, one more grievance that we had was we had the balcony and the windows, they're not tinted. So it's like at street level or one level below the street. It's a very crowded area underneath. So people are walking right next to your balcony. You, there's a little guardrail above your above the edges of the balcony but I feel as though anyone motivated could just cross that balcony line and they're so close and they can see everything inside so you want to try to keep your curtains down because the windows are not tinted they should be probably tinted so people from the street can't see in and you can see out I think that would be an easy fix and in addition there are people outside of the balcony that are sleeping on the street and uh, they're obviously unhoused people but they're so close to your room and they're sleeping at the same level that you're sleeping at so it's uh yeah that was just interesting interesting so i know there's a lot of unhoused people but uh yeah that's our that was our view so we obviously didn't get the riverside maybe the riverside was a little bit more majestic so that was nice this is a walk through the elevator is very nice and as you can see here's some video of the actual river you can see the savannah convention center from behind there's a gym the front desk is provides excellent service Everything else about this hotel is pretty nice, but we do feel like it was a three-star hotel. We did play, we did pay four-star hotel pricing for it, but it was a three-star hotel. Would we stay here again? I'm not 100% sure. It's not a bad hotel, but it's not a four-star hotel. I think it should be a three-star hotel. And if it was a three-star hotel and the pricing was a little bit lower, then maybe it would be worth another stay. But that's the review of the River Street Inn. Very centrally located, a little bit dirty, but, but that's the review.